Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all have been like doing well, staying the day away and that life hasn't been treating you guys too hard. For those of you who don't know, um, currently in med school and we're basically bowls deep, like bowls deep in exam prep. Um, and yeah, I've got about two weeks, uh, two to three weeks to prepare for exams. So basically this vlog is going to be like an insight into like what I do in my first week of like exam prep how I study, how I make it as productive as I can, as efficient as I can, as well as like other things I do besides just studying to make sure that like I don't go insane. Also, for those of you who don't already know or haven't met, um, this is Yuki. Hey, Yuki. He's so fucky, I'm gonna die. He's our um, Japanese spits. He's gonna be helping me study. Um, follow him on Instagram. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so I planned essentially very roughly um, how the next three weeks are going to go. So I'm going to save the last week. It's actually like a little bit of like a break. Like I don't like studying the day before my exam. I feel like it stresses me out and stuff like that. But whenever you're studying four subjects um or like multiple subjects i find it heaps more efficient and productive if you do either one subject complete that subject study and then do another subject but you're always revising on what you've studied so like you don't forget um, um your exams were spread out between like a month let's say and sometimes you will have enough time to study for like one subject in between your exams. But sometimes, for example, like my biochem will be on a Tuesday and then I have my physiology on a Thursday and there's just not enough time. And that's when you need to kind of look at your schedule and plan it out. For the exams I've got back to back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to study both topics on like a day and then the next day focus on one, then the next day focus on the other. And after each session, what I'm gonna do is, what I've covered on, let's say Monday for biochem, what I do on Tuesday, at the end of Tuesday session, I will re-learn and revisit and test myself on what I've learned on Monday to see if that's consolidated using active recall and the same for like the other subjects as well. Planning your study I say is like the equivalent to going into a new city. You want to go to this place, but you don't know where it is. And for some reason, you choose not to use your GPS or like Google Maps or Apple Maps. Like, it doesn't make sense. All right, guys, I just wanted to take a quick moment to talk about today's vlog sponsor, which is Notion. For those of you who don't know what Notion is, I think you guys are living on a rock. Notion is essentially my, my workspace. It's where all of my personal academic and even like team-based organization productivity goes. It's essentially the perfect app that you can use to take notes, manage your tasks and set goals and, and essentially much more. If you're working as a team, you can share your workspace and invite team members to collaborate on your Notion workplace. Or if you're doing it by yourself, you can set these pages for specific things. For, for example, I've got four that I use and my, my Notion setup is super basic, but it's pretty effective. But essentially it just allows you to interweave all of your academic and personal stuff into one place, which is excellent. So guys, I think it's honestly a no brainer. Just use the link in my bio and description and use the link here to sign up to Notion. It's completely free to use. And if you'd like me to talk more about how I use Notion, more specifically, um, comment down in the comment section below. <laughs> Quick tutoring session before we go back to study. <laughs> All right, guys, tutoring has been completed. Um, it's currently 12.43, um, and I think that it's time for bed. Um, I was able to punch in like a pretty good three hours of study and was able to get 
all of like everything that I plan to get done, which was like the week one content and like a little bit of week two, which is really good. So I wonder what Yuki's doing right now. All right, guys, it's now <clears throat> lunchtime. I woke up at 7 a.m., got ready, got changed, um, did a little bit <clears throat> of study. As you know, I like to I schedule up my, like, my Pomodoro in terms of like 50 minutes, so like 50 minutes and then 10 minutes. Um, but now, obviously, you can't study for like seven hours without um, feeding yourself. You know, think of it as a, like a machine in order to be, you know what, forget the analogy, let's just eat. Today we just have like super Asian food, um, egg, pork, broccoli, rice, and soy sauce. So yeah, it should taste pretty delish. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have like a massive meal, I I just go into a food coma and I lose all the energy that I had before. And like, you're supposed to eat to give you energy. I just lose all motivation and I just feel really bad. And it's because like I've eaten so much and you know, my body needs time to like break down all the food. So yeah, I'm not going to excessively overeat to the point where I'm in a state of paralysis, if that makes sense. Also, this is a birthmark for everyone who's wondering. It's not a hickey, I promise. But yeah, that's good. Um, eight out of 10. So on the meter, it's over there, but yeah, no, no, it's good. But yeah, we're gonna go back and study and yeah, just vibe for a bit. guys just did another solid three hour just like uh, I know and now we've gone to the part where um, I'm going through all like the terms that I don't really understand and I just wanted to use this opportunity to show you what it looks like when I'm trying to have like a really deep and rich understanding of like what I'm actually talking about so in biochem we always talk about ATP and for those of you who don't know ATP stands for adenosine, what do you want? Okay, good. Um, it stands for adenosine triphosphate. Let's say like one of the exam topics or questions are going to be around ATP and it'd be like explain what ATP is um, in order to be able to fully understand it and not regurgitate information. The best way of doing that is using like an analogy. So for example, Yuki, no, wait, <clears throat> I said like ATP is like our own rechargeable battery. And the way that we charge this battery is through cellular, rep cellular respiration or just like food, right? And this energy is stored into ATP. And this is very similar to like your phone. So like all, all phones have a rechargeable, well, most phones have a rechargeable battery. And when we charge that battery, it's like, ATP synthesis, we're, we're using, um, not when using, but we're converting energy and storing it as ATP. That's, that's like a simple way of understanding what ATP kind of is. But yeah, <clears throat> I need a break. Okay guys, I was going to go downstairs, but I mean like just to relax, but I got this package from Gentle Monster and I'm going to open up and see what is inside. So for those of you who don't know, Gentle Monster is like a massive Korean fashion sunglass company and I've been working with them. This is not paid, I just wanted to show you guys. It's like an unboxing, um, which I think is pretty cool. Cool, okay. Dear Peter, thank you for supporting our opening at David Jones Sydney. Thank you for a couple of 
enjoy a couple of our new optical collection. Hope you like them. We're looking forward to working with you again, gentle muscle. So firstly, inside is like this cool backpack. Man, I feel like I'm a school kid. There's something inside the backpack, but yeah, look, Peter's ready to go to school. I think the whole backpack vibe is like their campaign. Those little bear. I don't know what this says. This is, this is in Korean, isn't it? Someone translate it, please. Thank you. Congratulations, you have been admitted to Gentle High School. That's pretty cool. Um, this is here. Um, join us for the 20, 24 optical collection. Right. Here we go. What? That's sick. What? Oh, it's like uniform. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> okay. That's this is actually pretty cool. Like I could definitely wear this. I can definitely imagine some fits. I got like a tie as well. That's cool. What do you think, Yuki? Okay. I feel like if I wear these, I'm like Elton John. I don't. I don't know if this is giving or not. Got this like cool frame design. Oh, and we got these Edna glasses. I am definitely not wearing these on because they make me look like ridiculous. See what I mean? Like they just, this is a bit big. Anyways guys, um, these are the frames. Uh, thank you so much to this monster. For sending them out to me. If you do, if you guys do like any of them, comment down in the comment section below. I might do a giveaway because um, these, yeah, this company is massive in Korea, um, and if you guys really like these, I'm more than happy to like select a lucky winner in the comment section below. But yeah, just let me know. I think what I'm going to do now is honestly just um, kind of just like clean my room a bit. Um, it is a little bit messy, and I wanted to get through week two, three, four content during like today. Um, for like bio came in a little bit of like physiology and I was able to get through a lot more and yeah really really happy with that so oh let's clean up ah I lied um I basically just went through all those terms that like and concepts I didn't understand one more time just to refresh my memory but yeah I'm gonna go to grandma's house I'm gonna bring Yuki over so he can meet grandma and like some of the relatives and yeah, we're just gonna get together. We haven't caught up in a long time. I think particularly when we're like studying, super stressed, we tend to forget about our friends and our loved ones and they're always there to support us. I think when I was like in year 11, year 12, <laughs> I'd just stay in my room. I wouldn't really go downstairs. I'll talk to mom and dad. And I was kind of sad because like mom and dad would always like support me, particularly with Jasmine. Like she didn't get to see me much. In year 12, I would always be like in this room and looking back, you know, going downstairs to just kind of like relax, talk to my mum and dad, kind of like just even like just watch a TV show with Jazz for like half an hour. That wasn't going to be the difference between like an A plus and an A. If I put in the effort, then, you know, I would have gotten an A plus regardless of if I spent those 30 to one hour or even like three hours, depending on how much work I got done with my family. Enough talking. Let's go buy some junk food, rum, and let's go to Grammys. Grammys, Grammys. All right, let's go. Alrighty, we going? Let's go. Put your seatbelt on. He's like, how do you get what you say? Yuki, come here. Oh, we went to Grandma's bedroom. Oh no, <laughs> wait. Sit, bro. <laughs> Yummy! Yummy! Oh, no. 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 O
the KFC. KFC. Something KFC to feed these guys, buddy. Oh, yeah. It doesn't even care. Cool. Today is just one of those days where I feel super unmotivated and super lazy. Um, there are certain days when we're preparing for an exam where we just don't feel like doing anything. And I think it's like in these moments, okay, to kind of let, like just recognize that, hey, like today you're just not feeling it. And sometimes it's better to maybe take a prolonged break and focus on perhaps like why you're feeling that way perhaps it's you slept for too long <clears throat> or you've been working really hard or it's just like well, one of those days it's also like 39 degrees in Adelaide right now so that's really hot it could be like affecting my mood as well but maybe starting at night when it's not <sighs> 39 degrees is the better approach yeah let's um Shave this off, that's just good. Mm. So, if you guys have watched my previous videos, I always like preach like removing yourself from an environment that you feel stressful in. So, like in my because where I study is my bedroom, I feel super stressed, and yeah, just gonna run some errands today. And the errand that I will be running is um, taking passport photos. Um, because my passport has expired. I just want to travel as much as I can before med school gets super crazy. And yeah, it's something that I've been like really slacking, just like renewing my passport. Is that Is possible? Is it just a um, renewal? Yeah, renewal. Yeah. 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 Okay. Passport for looks really bad. Ow! Alright guys, I'm back. Um, had some very late lunch as well and I feel really energized to um, to continue like my study and I think it'll be super super productive which is which is great. So yeah let me let me just jump right back into it. <clears throat> Almost is turning into T3. T3 is the most active thyroid hormone. So we're talking about thyroid hormones, we're talking about T3 predominantly. 80%, 20%, that's the ratio that we see here. There's another hormone that's related to the thyroid called calcitonin. The way university works is kind of like a one size fits all, which kind of sucks. And like everyone learns differently. And maybe the delivery of the message that your lecturer, for example, or like the lecture notes or the PowerPoint is like talking about, it's in a way that you don't necessarily understand it really well, which is why like a lot of med students and like myself, we seek help from like other reputable sources. So if you're just studying subjects, you've got sources like Khan Academy, I use that all the time. Um, like there's YouTube, uh, Dr. Matt and Dr. Mike, they really help with science stuff. Um, you've also got Osmosis, which is one that med students use all the time. I'm watching a YouTube video because like the lecturer, the lecturer for the endocrine system, he explains it like, I just can't understand the accent. I cannot. All right, so it is now 8 p.m. <sighs> I can't speak. When I checked like my, my plan that I made on Notion and just the plan that I had for today, like I've completed it and done a little bit more, like I was able to cover some other topics as well, which is excellent. Um, another thing, particularly for like understanding or like remembering is like flashcards. So like use Anki, I use Quizlet um, for the time being. Actually, I will be definitely transitioning over to Thank you, but it just promotes active recall, which is super duper duper important. Like today in particular, if you're going to take away anything, it's just, if you're able to reflect and realize that, hey, like I'm not in the right mental space in preparation to do study or like to have a study session and it's not going to be effective 
maybe I do need more time to put myself in the right mindset and maybe I have been just cooked up in this space for too long and I do need an outlet and fortunately enough for me my outlet was getting my passport done um why did I turn American and like having lunch and just relaxing for a little bit and then I was that was enough for me to like go straight back into studying which is great um but yeah don't beat yourself up for taking a break everyone needs breaks you can't be switched on for 24 hours a day 365 days a year uh, it just doesn't work and you'll burn out I've already planned that, you know, the next couple of days I will be incorporating like physical activity because I know that it's going to get more intensive and I do need those outlets of like breaks. But, you know, I honestly hope everyone who's in exam period, particularly in Australia right now, you're smashing it. Um, anyone who's got exams or like anything going on at the moment, uh, just know that, yeah, it is a tough time. But as I like to say, Tough times never last, tough people last. And yeah, I wish everyone all the best in, in whatever they're doing. You guys can do it and you guys can pull through. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been pretty crazy to be completely honest. But yeah, I can't, I'm gonna like keep recording like tomorrow I'm gonna record. It'll be like a continuation from this vlog. Um, but we'll have, definitely have like some more stuff going on. I've also got a lot of exciting stuff. I always say this at the end, but like it's because they're ta it's taking so long, but I've got a lot of exciting things coming up and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, if you haven't joined the Discord channel, join it. Heaps of fun. Link will be somewhere in the link in the description. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.